we are recreating our first ever griddle cook on the channel. Many moons ago, we did a cheesesteak with filet, horseradish, cheddar, a little banana peppers, onions, and mushrooms. That was on our very first griddle. It was our very first cook. And today, we're going to do the exact same recipe, see if we can up that ante just a little bit. Never in my wildest dreams I ever imagined once we started with flat top grilling, here we are. So the idea we have mushrooms, we have onions, banana peppers. I actually put mayonnaise on it in that video. I'm just telling you we're just recreating the first video. We still have the filet, got that trusty dandy cavender seasoning. I used to swear by it, still do. And uh, I just think we can do a fantastic cook. The new griddle versus the old griddle. I'm pretty excited to recreate it. So here we go. First things first, we have low, 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 and about a medium high on the right side for that sear zone. Create a little garlic butter. Apparently in that first video, I thought it'd be a good idea to do a garlic butter toast. So there's our butter. There's our garlic, get that fragrant. Cook that garlic down. We're gonna use that as our garlic butter. Over here on the medium high side, let's get some color on the mushrooms and onions. I like to cook mine separately because I like the moisture to escape the uh, mushrooms. Nice little toast, little toasted garlic. Looking good. Times have changed when I very first started. I didn't have my own seasoning. Now I do, and I'm definitely going to add them. A little shake that. Salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. The vegetables, one of my favorites. This side of the grill is still on low. Got some good color on the mushrooms. Work those in with the onions. Let those continue to cook. Some banana peppers. Hit it with that Cavenders. Just trying to keep as little fat and moisture that we have in there. That's why I like to cook on low. I don't want this to get crispy or anything like that. I just want that fat to be able to come out just like that. Don't lose any of that fat. Add some of that horseradish cheddar on the inside. Chop that up, get all that mixed in. We got that toasted garlic hoagie, that slice of horseradish cheddar.
And that right there, I think, is a perfect recreation. Golly, I'm excited to have that. You got your toasted garlic roll. Optional, of course. Throw that slice of horseradish cheddar down. Kind of protects that bun from getting too soggy. Take a little dab of that filet, mushrooms, onions, banana peppers. Simple enough, as easy as it is, that is it. I do remember that video was 19 minutes and 11 seconds. Be kind now. That's when we very first started YouTube. Had no idea. People say I talk a lot now. I've never seen an old video. Cut that bad boy in half. Look at all that cheese. Put that cheese on the bottom. It kind of helps that grease from soaking Ooh. in. <laughs> Look, but oh, don't forget about that drippage. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Better than four years ago? I don't remember that. <laughs> I'd have to pat myself on the back four years ago. I don't know if it's better now or was then, but I do know this is dang good. So if it's dang good now, it had to be dang good then. But this is executed perfectly. Look at this, it's still dripping. You just try to reserve all that fat that you can. Keep that cheese in there, it's all nice and gooey. The filet is super tender. Uh, try to find a filet if you think the price is too high just to be able to like a discount. Mm, mm. Like a last day filet or something like that. Mm. Use ribeye, use strip, use something. Mm. Mm. That horseradish cheddar is good. And that's pretty neat to do. To your four year ago self. We can do a little split screen action so they can see how you've changed. <laughs> All right, guys, there you go. So there is our very first cook many moons ago on the Kemp Chef flat top grill at that time. Now we have the Kemp Chef Gridiron 36. It's just fun to go back and recreate, see what I used to do, and see how much better we can do it. If you guys are interested check us out on instagram also check us out on facebook the griller group thanks for watching don't forget to press that subscribe button pound the notification button share it with your friends peace mm. cheese take time golly I mean, just look at that that's good baby that's good